And these analogies have gained as much recognition as the result when discussing their second goal. Give the second. Shall I do it for the vlog? For the vlog. For the vlog. Channeling my and the cool runnings. Here we go. If you're in and around England, you will have seen this whole thing, the beast from the east, which has been absolutely savage in the UK in the last few days. We've always got like a tremendous amount of snow everywhere. But this could be an interesting journey. That's why I've stuck up my camera to catch any mishaps, but I'm usually a pretty good driver, so hopefully I'll avoid that. Oh, brakes failing already. Nearly two weeks ago now, I got back from Miami. I've been so busy, I've been doing so much trying to get ready for my next trip. I'm going to Auckland in New Zealand. So I'm literally going on Saturday from Auckland, and then you're gonna go back across to Brisbane to start my training camp for the Commonwealth Games. From Brisbane, then I go down to Gold Coast, which is gonna be where the Commonwealth Games village is. After that, I'm gonna stay in Australia for another week and then fly through Dubai on the way back and start through Dubai. So I've got like literally almost two months away from home, which is gonna be hectic, but it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to see all the places I'm gonna see. Since I've been back, as I say, things have been busy, man. I've met with Budgie Smuggler last week, but my meeting with them was interrupted about halfway through because I had a drug test in which I had to like rush off to the pool. So I didn't get a missed drug test, but that was all fine. The following day, I met with my old psychology teacher from Leeds Beckett because we're going to do some work together hopefully to improve my sports science support basis. That'll just be me learning a lot of new things from psychology, from nutrition, uh, from physiology as well. Hopefully just improving my knowledge and improving my preparation for competitions and also what I do in competitions so that when it comes around to the qualifying competition in 2020, like I did in 2016, I can put myself in the best possible situation to actually qualify for the 2020 Olympic Games. I've got a meeting tomorrow with people that develop my website. I've been creating videos. I've just been non-stop really, but it's been a very exciting time. On top of that, I saw Black Panther, which if you haven't seen, I recommend going to see. Michael B. Jordan is absolute legend. Chadwick Boseman killed it. All the actors killed it. And it's important that like, this is black history, but it's the month that we celebrate the great black people around the world. And I hope that I've done my bit to be a part of that legacy in my sport. I am one of two black people. Me and Jennifer Abel from Canada, we're the only two people of like African or Caribbean descent who are actually doing this sport to a high level. When I tell other Jamaican people who don't know much about diving that I am a diver, the first question they ask me is if I can actually swim. Like they're surprised by the fact that I can actually swim because it's so rare for Jamaican people to even be able to swim. Even though they're surrounded by water, there isn't a lot of swimming provisions from a school level. So a lot of people don't even learn how to swim from a school level. And this is changing now as times go on. I'm glad that I can do my part to hopefully inspire young black people to know that the only roots out of wherever they are coming from isn't just basketball or American football. Even outside of sport, you know, it's not just rap. It's not just hip hop music, there are other reasons you can do whatever you want. Although I guess now when I'm posting this video it's not actually Black History Month anymore. Because it's actually March. But whatever, that's beyond the point. I'm speaking now, it's, it's February 28th and it's still Black History Month, so whatever. Anyway, today I've got one, two, three, four, five, six training sessions left in the It's also the time where everybody's going away because the British divers have got the World Series events to prepare for which is going to be in Japan and China and then they're going to be joining me out in Australia for the Commonwealth Games. So yeah, today, training, coaching as well. I've got to finish packing, I've got so much packing to do man. And this snow just isn't helping everything because it's making everyone just stress unnecessarily. Anyway, I'll see you at the pool. Well, I made it to the pool through the snow. Unfortunately, nobody told me that 
the session was off because the coach couldn't make it through the snow. So I am the only one here. Could go home, but you know how it goes. The hustle never stops. I need the coach to do my work. I got things to do. So I'm just gonna get to work. Do my stuff, do what I need to do. Got the whole gym to myself. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just watching back some of the uh, physio exercises that I've just done right now. I've never actually looked at these properly, as in watching myself do it. It looks ridiculous. I swear down, right? Some physios create these exercises just for their own personal entertainment because when people do it, they look absolutely ridiculous. I mean, yeah, I guess most of them work, but I'm sure some of them are just done for the for the pure jokes of it. Like, look at this one. It's like I'm trying to flap like a bird. This one kind of reminds me, you know when like the, the ski jumpers, they do their jump and they go like that in the air. <laughs> it reminds me of that. It's just like slow motion, like I'm practicing the right technique for how to jump off, off the this, this ski jump. God, my shoulder muscles here. Have a look at that. Let's zoom in on that right there. Look at my shoulder muscles. No wonder my shoulders are injured all the time. This one looks like I'm trying to be like a helicopter or something. <laughs> like I just need to slowly increase the speed of my arms moving and I'll eventually take off like a helicopter. Still though, those shoulder muscles are intense. Wow. This one's called the butterfly, this one. Like I'm trying to emulate Michael Phelps. I just need to do that little swimming stroke, but it's like Michael Phelps, they're pretty much in it. But yeah, in all seriousness, like some exercises that I've done in the past, they look ridiculous. And I'm sure that the physios just do it for an absolute joke. And I'm sure that other athletes do agree with that. If there are any physios watching this, let me know. Do you do some of your exercises for jokes? I'm sure you do. Anyway, back to training. Little finger to them, they don't wanna see me great. Mama say that I got a lot of stakes, so I gotta go hard, gotta show them how I'm made. I ain't listening on nobody, I'm just vibing on the beat. Hey. They wanna know the way I do it, like it's a mystery. I'm just vibing on the beat. I got game and they know it. I was made in '93. The only rappers they compare me to is white ones. That I'm spitting the sweetest diabetic type ones. Hey, but to get your insulin, slip into this abyss again. I'm envisioning millions, never tired like Michelin. I don't think that you listening. I was so close to giving in. Hell is where I've been living in. Mentally so imprisoned in my thoughts. I was lost in the source. And of course, then the source said I'd be the next Eminem. They were wrong. People said that I fell off. I was 16. Just a young kid with a mic and a big dream. Now if you bring in them bad vibes, you can miss me. They've been saying, look in my eyes. It's something pristine. Living in the middle of cities where Diddy and Biggie came up. Oh, friend. Staying the same, I had to change up through every single struggle and trial. I stay prayed up. Haters can't get under my skin. I'm Luke Cage, bruh. Tipping the liquor to bury my thoughts, but now I'm on me. All of my friends were rocking Lacoste. I had the tall tees. Not a label that would go and even give me a chance. They told me fall back, now they trying to call me. Used to be depressed for years. Then I left my fears up in the past. Looking forward, I'm gonna check my rear. 
what you hear, you gotta see it with your eyes. Had to cut off all the people that were feeding me lies. Running away, blowing the haze. I was just doing that for days. Up in the days, stuck in a maze. Then I found my way. Ain't nobody but God got me. Every single struggle taught me. I don't care about that ball main, the Gucci, that shit not me. I'm doing it just for you, cause you just like me. Everything I spit is true, I just do it like Nike. I've been trying to do the right thing. Where the Spike Lee used to do it low key, now I do it high key. Yeah. We ain't tripping over. We ain't never gonna quit. We get it jumping like it's nothing.